all for a piece of bread. One day, a crow was flying through the woods, fluttering from one tree branch to another. She had very sharp eyes and she saw a piece of bread lying on the ground below her. In a jiffy, she flew down, snatched the piece of bread off the ground, flew to a branch on a nearby tree and sat there. Just then, a fox came running through the woods. He saw the crow sitting on the branch and noticed that she had something in her mouth. He went right below the branch and looked closely. He saw that it was a piece of bread. Now, the fox hadn't eaten a nice piece of bread in a very long time and so his mouth started watering looking at it. The cunning fox decided that he would trick the crow out of her piece of bread. He had an idea and so a wicked smirk spread across his face. He went and sat below the tree branch that the crow was perched on. Oh, Miss Crow, you're indeed the most beautiful creature I've ever seen, crooned the fox. The crow was rather worried that the fox might jump at her, so she flew to a higher branch. She had heard that the fox was a cunning, wily fellow. She did not want to take any chances with him. You have the most beautiful feathers that I've ever seen, the fox said. Oh, they are so black and shiny, so glossy, so beautiful, he crooned. The crow still did not say anything. She didn't even move. So the fox continued, I have heard that you have the most beautiful voice among all the creatures of the wood. It is even more melodious than that of the nightingale. Won't you sing me a song? Now, this compliment was too great for even the crow to take. She was so flattered that she opened her beak to start singing. But as soon as she did this, the piece of bread fell onto the ground. Oh, you foolish crow, see how I tricked you, said the fox and snatched up the piece of bread and ran away as fast as he could. The crow was very upset that she had been tricked by the fox. Never again will I trust a flatterer, she said sadly.